Are you feeling a chill in the air or hearing unexplained noises in your home? In this spine tingling video, we'll delve into the top 10 creepy indicators that your house might be haunted. From flickering lights to cold spots, we will explore the signs that could suggest paranormal activity lurking within your walls. Getting ready to uncover the mysteries of your house as we discuss eerie experiences and the unsettling sensations that are often associated with haunted houses. Whether you're a skeptic or a believer, this video will leave you questioning the reality of your living space. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more haunting content. Join me as we explore my haunted house to uncover the top 10 creepy signs that it is haunted. Have you ever walked into a room and felt an eerie presence or heard strange noises that you just couldn't explain? For many of us, the idea of a haunted house is more than just a spooky movie plot or a childhood fantasy. It's a chilling reality that can leave us feeling unsettled and unsure. We've all heard the stories of doors slamming shut on their own or ghostly experiences that mysteriously appear in the dead of the night. But what about the more subtle signs, the ones that might be happening right under our noses, yet we're not even aware of them? You might be surprised to learn that many of us experience strange phenomena in our homes on a daily basis, from flickering lights to unexplained cold spots but are these simply quirks of an old house or could they be something more sinister? Let's dive into the top 10 signs that your house might be haunted. Coming in at number 10, we have strange smells that seem to appear out of nowhere. You might catch the whiff of perfume in the hallway, the smell of a pipe or cigar, or freshly baked cookies in the kitchen, even when no one's even been baking. This could be a sign that a ghostly presence is trying to communicate with you, or it could simply be a prankster spirit trying to get your attention. At number nine, we have unexplained noises in the night. Do you often hear creaks and groans in the dead of night, even when the house is empty? <clears throat> this could be the sound of a restless spirit trying to get your attention, or it could simply be the house settling. But what if it's something more? Moving on to number eight, we have objects that seem to move on their own. Uh, have you ever walked into a room to find a face or ornament in a different position from where you left it? Have other things disappeared and reappeared later? This could be a sign of a mischievous spirit, or it could simply be a case of forgetfulness. But what if it's something more? As we count down to number seven, unexplained temperature changes, you might walk into a room that's freezing cold, even when the heater has been blasting all day. This could be a sign of a ghostly presence, but it could simply be a drafty old house. But what? if it's something more. Coming in at number six, we have strange reflections in the mirror. Have you ever caught a glimpse of something out of the corner of your eye only to turn around to find no one there? This could be a sign of a ghostly presence or it could simply be a trick of the light. But what if it's something more? At number five, we have mysterious shadows. You might catch a glimpse of a dark figure darting around out of the corner of your eye, only to turn around and find no one there. This could be a sign of a malevolent spirit, or it could simply be a trick of the light. But what if it's something more? As we get closer to the top, we have number four, ghostly whispers. 
Have you ever heard faint whispers in the dead of the night? Even when the house is empty, this could be a sign of a ghostly presence, or it could simply be the wind. But what if it's something more? Coming in at number three, we have strange lighting anomalies. You might see flickering lights or orbs of light that seem to appear out of nowhere. This can be a sign of a ghostly presence, or it could simply be a faulty electrical system. But what if it's something more? At number two, we have mysterious apparitions. Have you ever seen a figure out of the corner of your eye, only to turn around and find no one there? Or maybe find someone there? This could be a sign of a ghostly presence, or it could simply be a trick of the mind. But what if it's something more? Finally, at number one, we have the most shocking of all poltergeist activity. Have you ever experienced objects moving or flying off the shelves, even when no one's around? This could be a sign of a benevolent spirit, or it could simply be a freak occurrence. But what if it's something more? But there's one sign that might just surprise you, the presence of a ghostly doppelganger. You might catch a glimpse of yourself in a mirror or a reflection, only to realize that it's not actually you. This could be a sign of a ghostly presence, or it could simply be a case of deja vu. But what if it's something more? As we've explored these top 10 signs that your house might be haunted, it's clear that there's more to these strange phenomena than meets the eye. By being aware of these signs, you can start to uncover the secrets that your house might be hiding. Thanks for joining me on this journey into the unknown. If you've experienced any of these signs in your own home, be sure to share your stories in the comments below. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe for more videos on paranormal topics and beyond. Thank you.